Okay, for the final question, um, or final part of this question, you're asked to evaluate international and national policies about um, population uh, control or um, development policies. So um, for this, uh, the obvious one that you guys chose is the China one-child policy. And you sort of elaborate a bit on what that is, which is great. So for that, you can get two marks. Um, but remember that you've got to evaluate. Okay, so you might be looking for two evaluation points here. So it's been very successful. Okay, so the population growth rate has slowed. You know, but you still have a high population. You also have an aging population, which has led to them discussing perhaps um, no longer having the one child policy, but allowing people to have two children. Um, you've got um, corruption, which some of you mentioned. So, you know, an, an unfairness that some people who are wealthy and might be able to afford to have two children. Um, and uh, um, gender inequality, the problems around, you know, the, pro the priority that parents might put um, onto having a boy then means that uh, you might have selective abortion. So um, any two then evaluation points. And then um, because it says policies, I mean, they are looking for some international policies, but we haven't covered everything to do with the policies yet. So even just other national policies. So some of you mentioned Thailand, which is great. And um, Thailand's especially their uh, contraceptive program um, so you know very successful so like population rate and overall population has um, declined so um, we have in Thailand a uh, um, universal health care act so development policies around uh, reproductive health care health for the mother um, have been very successful. And um, on the other hand, just like in China, we're starting to have an, an aging population. So we need to invest more on, you know, teaching people about um, having children. But because we have, we have high teen pregnancies in Thailand, and uh, often those will go sort of they're more unhealthy because they're not being monitored. They don't have the financial resources to support them. So, you know, increases in education on the use of contraceptives, focusing on those adolescents, but so that they're continuing to have children um, when they're a little bit older in order to support this aging population. Um, as I mentioned, there are um, obviously international policies that some of you might have learned about in geography. Um, we'll be covering these later, but um, this is a great website. It's uh, the MDG Monitor. So this stands for Millennium Development Goals. So, for example, you can go and look at Millennium Development Goal number four, which is to reduce child mortality. And uh, with that, you can find out um, how well we've been getting on. So nowadays, we have 17,000 fewer children dying every day but we still have 6 million children um, dying. So, you know, this gives you very clear outlines of the, um, the ways we've succeeded and the ways that we still have to go. Um, the other part, Millennium Development Goal number five can also be very useful here. So um, this one is about um, improving maternal health. And um, as we do so, of course, that reduces infant mortality as well. But notice within the um, improving um, maternal health, we have this part here, increase um, in contraceptives. That's part of the maternal health goal, is that women would be able to have easier access to contraceptives. And um, it's interesting, <clears throat> the overall use of contraceptives 
has increased globally from 55 to 64 percent. Um, so that's really excellent. And in sub-Saharan Africa, from 13 to 28 percent. So um, this is a, a success. But again, we still have a ways to go. Um, if we look at this, maternal mortality fell 47 percent since 1990. Now that's great. That means much better health care during childbirth, but only half of women um, or recommended healthcare during pregnancy. So this is areas we need to improve. So um, we'll come on to these Millennium Development Goals. As I said, for this question, um, it's fine to you know, outline China, outline Thailand for two marks, and then evaluate for two marks each for the overall eight marks. 